Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Sacred Geometry Language of the Universe. My name is Seth and I'm here to introduce and expose sacred geometry to the whole world. Today I'm going to share with you something quite fascinating. I myself consider it as the core of sacred geometry, where sacred geometry started, and some call it the womb of the universe. Today I'm going to talk about the Vesica Pisces. I remember I was quite astonished by the information I found about the Vesica Pisces throughout my research many years ago, and I would love to share that with you. So stay tuned and follow me. So what is the Vesica Pisces? The Vesica Pisces is simply two circles of the same diameter overlapped, creating a form in the middle, a geometric form that is called the Vesica Pisces. But I'm going to explain to you why this form is so important and how it came to creation. So we're going to start with a circle, just a plain circle, a two-dimensional circle. Well, as you can imagine, this two-dimensional circle would be a sphere in three dimensions, but we're gonna keep it 2D now so we don't get things too complicated. This circle, you can call it either source, God, Om, the one, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, but I prefer to call it source. Now, this circle, source, uh, let's imagine it's by itself. It gets bored and decides to create something to interact with. It decides to move to the boundary of itself and duplicates itself. Boom, let there be light. The Big Bang starts. Now we start to dive into the world of polarity because we have two circles and not one anymore. One being male and the other female create an offspring in the middle, which we call the Vesica Pisces. So yes, the Vesica Pisces is the womb of the universe. That's where all creation happens. The Vesica Pisces means bladder of the fish in Latin. In ancient times, the Physica Pisces was used to represent the goddess Venus, as well as the female genitalia. In Christianity, it was associated with the coming of Jesus. It also represented a doorway or portal that intersects the realm of the divine and the material world. Now look at these Christian paintings. They clearly portray Jesus in the middle of the Physica Pisces. I mean, it could have been a square, it could have been a circle, but no, it's exactly the form of the Vesica Pisces. That just shows us that people knew how sacred this shape was, and they knew the meaning of it. It is also very similar to the first stages of the mitosis. As you can see, during mitosis, one cell divides once to form two identical cells. And look at that form. Isn't that very familiar? Yes, it is the Physica Pisces, again. And not only that, the Physica Pisces represents several shapes that we can find throughout our bodies. And the most common one is, of course, the eye, right? But you can also find the same form in other parts of our bodies. Now, I'm gonna go even a little bit further by adding a third circle. Now we get something that's also quite familiar to many people, I suppose. This form, which is called the Triketra, or the symbol of the Holy Trinity. So as you can see from the information that I presented, the Vesica Pisces holds a lot of secrets, and many people throughout history knew the secret of this form. They knew that it was the source of creation, and they used it, and they were aware of it. And I wanted to start with the Physica Pisces because it's going to be the basis of everything we're going to talk about from now and on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sacred Geometry, Language of the Universe. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next episode.